Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Revolut joint in Autodesk Fusion 360. The first thing we want to do is come over here to the top left to our data panel. Let's click on it. From here, I can double click on my part or assembly, and that's going to open it here in the preview window. Now from here, I can scroll to my other assembly or part that I want to mate to this, and I can click on this and drag it into the window. Once it's dragged in, I can close my data panel, and I can now manipulate the location of this part or assembly. So I may want to rotate this 90 degrees, and I may want to rotate it this way as well. and maybe push it this way. From here, I can hit OK once I'm happy with the position. And now I can come over here to where it says Joint. Click on Joint. And as you can see, we have two components here. And this component right now is transparent, but this one is not. So what I want to do is I want to select the um, location for my joint or mate. So I'm going to click on this ring and now this assembly is transparent. That means I need to select my uh, next location for the constraint on this assembly. So let me rotate this and I'm going to select this ring right here. And as you can see, the two assemblies are now mated to each other using the Revolut um, joint. And it gives us a nice little preview, which is very helpful because this preview helps us determine if this joint is really what we want. So I'm going to uncheck animate. And from here, if I'd like, I can move out my fitting. So as you can see, my fitting here has a flat section on it. For that reason, I'm going to make sure that when I move this in, I'm not infringing on that flat section and that flat section is not touching my threads. So I can move it in accordingly only up to the point that I need it to, to be. So from here, I'm gonna hit okay. And that's how you create a Revolut joint in Autodesk Fusion 360.